live from Studio 42, it's Hot Stove Tonight. With Glenn Healy, Elliot Freeman, and Glenn, engage with us. That's what teams are asking their fans to do in appointments and Yeah, so I was on. just going to check, had that tough run? Yeah. <laughs> Edmonton Oilers? Well, what seems to happen now in the NHL is, uh, and it's happened in Vancouver, it happened in Buffalo, when things don't go well, well, you send it off to the group to decide what you do with your general manager, what you do with your coach. Michael, you going to run it? Here we go. Here, this is the scene in Vancouver. Last week, can you run a normal highlight? Just watch, Elliot, and learn. This is very good. And we soon get Mike Gillis's fate. Listening to the crowd, listening to the fans. I don't know if that's the right way to do business, but one thing is sure, there is going to be a whole lot of carnage this summer. Winnipeg, Carolina, Toronto, Vancouver, San Jose, if they don't win, we're going to see a lot of this or that. Washington, maybe. Now, just a couple of things. You have Lyndon on tonight in the first intermission of the late game. I think some of the big questions for Vancouver. Number one, Kessler. Uh, I have a feeling what they may do is ask Kessler to go home and think about it and then maybe meet again, discuss his future with the team. Coaching, what's John Tortorella's future? I don't think Lyndon wants to move quickly on this, Ron, but there might be so much that they may have no choice but to make a decision one way or the other reasonably fast. I think the other thing, too, is he had a webcast interview the other day where he said that maybe his next GM is somebody that he once played with, and he spent the first two years of his career in Vancouver with Jim Benning. But there's another local guy. Well, there is Marcus Naslin, the guy he works well with. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Gilman, yeah. to me. I mean, here's a guy who's got great deals with contracts. So you look at Kessler. BXA, you look at the Sedins, those are great cap hits. And really, are you going to get a candidate this close to draft? Is Nashville going to give you Paul Fenton with his draft list? I don't think so. So it could be more difficult than Trevor knows. That's the profile he wants. So GM and two assistants, and they'll have special areas of expertise. They're very I don't know if he'll go there tonight in an Jeff interview. Jeff Cortnell, Stan Smeal, these are names that, that that little posse who's hung around for 20 years. The shakeup in Toronto. Well, first of all, there had been a lot of talk this week that maybe if Toronto makes a coaching change that Peter DeBoer would be a guy that the Maple Leafs would be interested in. I don't have any details, but there are a lot of rumblings today that the Devils and Peter DeBoer are working on an extension. So if he accepts it and it works out, he's not going to be available. Uh, Dave Nonis, when this all broke, there started to become a lot of gossip around the NHL. Would Dave Nonis maybe end up with Brian Burke in Calgary? Um, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen, Ron. I, I believe that Brendan Shanahan's coming in. He doesn't know the organization very well. Nonis is a pretty easygoing guy. Uh, I, I think they will work together and try to figure out uh, where to take the organization from here. Best thing for the organization would be to keep Dave Nonis. He knows the players best. Hey, we just talked about their ultimate collapse. They need leadership. They need to get more from guys like Kessel and Funuf, particularly when it's on the line. It is three years in a row now, mm -hmm. a colossal collapse for Ron Wilson's job, a colossal cap in Game 7, and this year, 13 days, did them in. I was saying to you, it even felt like Kessel struggled a little at Sochi. He and James Van Riemsdyk good early, but couldn't get there when the games meant the most. Nashville, there was talk David Poyle stepping up. Well, you know, he suffered a, a serious injury this year, and there were some questions that maybe at the end of the season he would step down, take like a, a higher level role, and give up the day to day operations. He said that is not going to be the case. All right, gents, we've got lots of uh, time ahead this evening to get into the Toronto Vancouver situation a little more. As you mentioned, Trevor Linden will be our guest in the first intermission of Game Two tonight, the Oilers and the Canucks. Dominic Moore, our special inside hockey story on Hockey Tonight when we continue from Studio 42 in Toronto.